Hello, welcome to Planet Art. My name is Russ Riendo and one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was the concept of Planet Art and how it relates to business. I had been trying to find a way to introduce people to a new or a different way of thinking and how could I transport them mentally and emotionally transport them fast in a audience setting to a different place, a different place where they could take risks and think about creativity and innovation and how they could better develop themselves in their businesses by using a more creative way. Give us an idea of what creativity looks like. I'm gonna ask you to take a little journey and I want, I want to go to Planet Art. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off a little bit, count to three. One, two, three, land. Now open your eyes. You are now on Planet Art. Are you Martians? Welcome to my planet. And I thought if I could transport people to Planet Art, maybe some fun things will happen. And as a result of that, now what I do is when I talk to audiences about effective leadership and how to create change and creativity, and we do a painting on stage, people's eyes light up, and they, their eyes light up not because of my painting, it's because of what they think they can do as it relates to to art, to creative projects, how they can enhance their own business. And I think that's the thing that people are looking for. Let's face it, we're all adventure capitalists. Does anything look different on Planet Art? Now one of the things you notice is people smile more when they're on Planet Art. Do you see anybody frowning? There's just a few, but I'm not going to point them out yet. On Planet Art, people smile more. There is a freedom on Planet Art that you don't always have on planet Earth. On planet Earth, the oxygen is 10 times richer than it is on planet Earth. We breathe easier. There is acceptance of ideas on planet Earth. People suspend judgment. There is no judgment on planet Earth. It simply is. Ideas are not frowned upon. People are encouraged to take risk because there are no risks. We're all looking for ways, both in our job and other places to be more creative. It's about how others feel when they touch the brush to their hands, when they pick the color, when they decide to write something or draw something or put a chisel and hammer to a piece of wood or stone. That's where creativity begins. It's right here to there. But creativity is about the way we think and the way we respond. And, and the right words that we use and how we write a letter and what phrase we use that just might be the right phrase at the right time. Part of the creative process is paying attention to different ways that we do things and watching how our, our employees and how people do things as well. It's not what ends up on the canvas that's really important. It's what's going on in our minds and our hearts as we're developing that. So. I hope we get that message across to our audiences and if I can be a conduit to that, if I can help people develop better ideas, great. Three things to think about on planet Earth. If you create action steps, if you exercise and take care of yourself and you're direct, you'll be amazed at what happens with people. If I can help people have permission and it's okay to try creative things and as a result of that, they're going to do better in their job they're going to be happier in their job, they're going to be more productive, and they're also going to inspire others. They're going to be able to pay it forward, as it were. It changes the way people think. They walk away a different person.